Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. And boy, what a welcome to Team of the Season. Yesterday was with the TOTS Live promo, EA giving out free TOTS cards. That was the last thing that I expected, but they did it. And if you didn't get one yesterday, you need to check a certain place on this game. But a lot of people are excited about that. The SBCs, the objectives, the evolution that dropped yesterday, and the fact that these live TOTS cards are halfway packable, and they're still live. I keep forgetting team of the season cards that are live. Tots live, right? I'm not used to that. And I have to keep remembering that and reminding myself of that. So the market yesterday went crazy. I made a ton of coins. I know a lot of you guys did as well. And prices are still up a lot. What's going to happen today? What's going to happen with these live Tots cards as more games are being played that affect these live items for upgrade? We got to talk about a lot of things today, guys. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's go to the SBCs first and talk about arguably the most popular player yesterday dropped in this game, King Kai Havertz. A center mid Kai Havertz. It was the leak in the end. We mentioned in yesterday's video. Three playstyle pluses. That's the big thing about this promo, right? A lot of the cards in packs, and especially Kai Havertz here, the first three playstyle plus SBC player of FC24. It feels like we're closer and closer to the end game. It feels like the power curve is going to be taking a jump here as well with three PS pluses on this card. He's 4-5, medium, medium, left-footed, of course. Um, he's got a lot of positions. Center mid, cam, left back, striker. You can play him almost everywhere. Stats on the card look unbelievable right 99 stand tackle 99 heading accuracy a huge defending boost and physical boost from his normal card um and you know the thing about this card that i'm a little confused about is his play styles look great play style plus is ping pass technical plus very 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 overpowered his other play styles great Finesse Shot Plus with this card, to me, I love Finesse Shot Plus, and I'm sure it's useful for him in game, but the stats don't back up the Playstyle Plus that well. He's got 85 finishing, 80 shot power, and 82 long shots. Those are shooting stats from literally September when this game is first coming out, but he has Finesse Plus. So 97 curve, I don't think the curve impacts the Finesse Plus that much. Um, I don't know, I'm not an EA game developer, but I'm really interested to see how the finesse is working game. If you've done this SBC, let me know down in the comments. But a ton of people are going and doing this card. It's 1.2 million coins to get this Havertz done. And it's 70% upvoted, even right after, right? They just dropped the Evo a couple days ago where a lot of people who had the Winter Wildcards Havertz in their club were going to take that one and upgrade him to a new better left back version. So now Havertz has a center mid box to box SBC on this game as well. And for 1.2 million coins, I don't think it's terrible value. I think it's solid value. Again, remembering he has the opportunity to go up to a 94 if Arsenal score eight goals in the next four games. And also if they win two in the next four games, which one of their games is against Spurs in the North London Derby. Now, I think he'd be on a little bit more than 1.2 on the market, so I think it's a solid price there. And it's very craftable, of course, with so many people opening packs. This is the obvious SBC choice to be crafting right now on this game if you wanted somebody to craft into and there's not an icon that you like more. For me, I haven't started crafting it yet because I just don't know if I want the card. He would definitely fit into my team. He'd be so fun to use for sure. But medium, medium work rates, I'm not a huge fan of that. And it is a bit of an undertaking it's 10 squads it's not that many but it's just enough to like be a little bit annoying and i just don't know how much i'm gonna love the card and with so many other spcs out and definitely more spcs to come i'm almost thinking i might just do a couple more exchange packs this week get some more player picks to try to pack live cards for team of the season and maybe wait a little bit longer and see what else comes out before i decide since i'm not opening all of my packs just some of them right now we'll talk about that more when we talk about the pack section of this game Let's talk about the other big SBC from yesterday, Rio Ferdinand. Yes, one of the best center backs in the game. One of the most expensive center backs in the game, for sure. He was like 3 million coins for ages, even above that on this game after team of the year. Medium high, he's got Anticipate Plus, my favorite defensive play style. I know you guys love it as well. Rio is just different in game two. 
Um, and EA, of course, knew, know that. And that's why they made him 20 squads and 2.4 million coins to complete. Now, this card just a couple of weeks ago was really, really expensive. And he was above 2.4 mil. So this seems craftable in a sense that it's an SBC for Rio that you can go and do if you want this center back in your team for basically the rest of the game. I think he's end game center back material. Even, if, even when we get into the crazy months of the summer, he's still going to be usable in this game for sure. So if you want a Rio, go ahead and do it. 291 rated squads in here. It's a lot. It is a lot to get this guy done. 20 squads is like, wow, it's going to take me a while. But it's team of the season. There's high rateds everywhere. There's good packs everywhere. And if you want to go ahead, as always, and give him a try, do it alone. Give him a shot. Um, it's kind of mixed opinions on him. 29% upvoted on the SBC, but his price on the market is down a lot, of course, because this SBC is out. We've seen that with Dino. We've seen that with Mia Hamm. We, a lot of people just prefer, we all prefer to have the untradeable version to craft because we can get it done. Maybe if it takes us a week or two longer than just getting the card off the market, which is instantaneous, obviously. Take a couple weeks, craft the SBC. Then you don't have to worry about the price of the card for the rest of the game. It's yours, untradeable in the club so that's nice honestly to have a big player like that to grind for if you didn't want to do dino if you didn't want to do mia ham or ribery or cantona even it's nice to have options for icon sbcs the exchange sbcs got to mention these because they're back nothing changed though they're the exact same duplicate exchange sbcs i was doing multiples of these yesterday i actually packed the team of the season from the 88 overall dupe exchange that was my first tots pack pull yesterday um so yeah i have no complaints about those i was hoping maybe they'd release like a 90 exchange 91 rate exchange but that didn't actually take place now speaking of the biggest thing yesterday is the free tots cards that ea gave out they gave us all a guaranteed tots player pack to start off the promo usually they give us an 85 or an 85 times two but a guaranteed tots pack fair play ea ggs like that doesn't really ever happen now of course those packs are all really watered down i packed turland she was actually one of the first cards to be having a game played she played yesterday in, in the barclays women's super league they lost only scored one goal so that's only that's one game off their record and only one goal towards the tally of getting up to eight so her upgrade's looking a little bit less likely but you know what i'll take a free 90 rated tots card and the chance at something else really cool the other two tots cards as you see we have the tots counter active on the stream and on the videos now we'll be counting up through the totality of team of the season to see how many cards we can get packed weaver from an exchange and david costa from like an 84 times something or other pack two fodder tots there and a fodder tots from my guaranteed tots pack but i'm not going to be complaining because we are on the board and the tots cards do look decently packable so we'll talk about that here in a second Let's go to Evos because this was, again, part of the insane content that we had yesterday as well. We had Havertz in the midfield and we had these two Evos creating insane midfield players. Midfielders are down bad or were down bad and getting panic sold like crazy yesterday. I love these Evos, guys. Number one, because they're free. Number two, because they give out great play styles. And if I had to choose between the attacking mid and... And the defensive mid, I think I go for the defensive mid connection as being the more overpowered one. You get a weak foot boost, you get incisive pass plus, which is so good, but you also get anticipate play style, pinged pass play style, and quick step. Really, really like this evolution, guys. And so many great players fit it. I've got this Mahmood Evo card that I have not upgraded for ages. He fits this Evo as a 91 rated. I've got a halfway evolved Oliver Skip from the um, Future Stars Evo that I might end up putting into this with Tiki Taka and um, Incisive. The Declan Rice from Rule Breakers. The Amir Richardson fits this as well. There are so many good options to upgrade a midfielder from your club in this uh, evolution. Flashback to Bruyne fits this. Podolski, which I'm actually interested. What does Podolski look like? Podolski would go power shot, rapid plus, medium low, 5-5. Five, five. He already has the 99 shooting. Um, yo, that might be a nice card to put into this evolution as well for the attacking midfielder one. I do, however, think I'm going to end up putting my 83 rated Jesus Fedeta, who's in the 99 shooting Evo. So he's going to get an even bigger boost. He's already 5'5". Five, five, so I don't need the skill move boost that this provides. It gives a plus, what is it? Plus one to skill moves, but he gets uh play style plus rapid. So really excited to have that Jesus Fedeta absolutely insane after I can Evo him to 99 shooting. He's going to be cracked. So I'm really excited for that Evo. And both of those Evos are unbelievable, guys. Like, if you check the popular Evos right here on this game, Aloe Wayron fits it? No way. He does? 
Okay, base hero catch up and then that. Okay, that's not actually available right now. But Cole Palmer, Ramirez is one of the most popular cards in this Evo. Um, his fantasy card on the market is dropping a ton because this one, if you get the base Ramirez or if you have one in your club, you put it into this evolution, you get incisive pass and a really, really sick card. So have fun with this Evo, guys, for real. There's so many great options. Yaya fits it. I think Yaya's card was extinct or is extinct on the market. Yeah, Yaya's extinct because he fits this Evo. I think he might fit the attacking Evo as well if you really wanted to do that. Jude Bellingham fits. Fakir. Javi Simons. Sobel Sly's radioactive card fits. Conte. There's the Podolski that we just looked at. Um, this Mateus Cunha. Here's a cheeky shout for the attacking mid connection. While you're doing Team of the Week player picks, Watch out for this guy. He's already got five-star skills. Um, so I'm actually just kidding. He gets boosted to five-star skills after this Evo gives him a boost. That's a nuts-looking card. Trivella and Rapid with all the other playstyles that he has. That's a pretty cracked-looking card. So I love this Evo. I think it's fantastic. And there's more elite Evos to come. There's even a bit of news that people think we might be getting daily Evos during at least the first part of Team of the Season. That seems crazy. So let's talk about uh, XP and objectives here really quick. Moving on from evolutions. Hey, this uh, objective guys right here is the EA saying, hey, this is the end of the season catch up mode. If you're low on XP, if you're behind, here's literally 5,000 XP to catch up and finish off the season. Well, we all want to do this anyway because it's the daily play. We got to get games in, whether it's squad battles, champs, right? A lot of people grinding champs right now to get those rewards for the first time. Decent packs inside of here. And yet again, another TOTS guaranteed pack being given out from this objective. That's why it's very crucial to finish this off and get it done is the guaranteed TOTS pack comes back once again. Now, I'd have to go back and look at the pack code. One question I have about this pack right here is, is it just live TOTS cards or will this guaranteed pack be able to be maybe saved to next week when we have Prem Team of the Season? I let the cat out of the bag there. We know the schedule of TOTS. We'll talk about that in this video too. Live, live TOTS Daily Play. We absolutely love that. Live TOTS John McGinn. We don't mind this either. Again, a live John McGinn card, it's pretty easy to get done. You do need Scottish players, but he's got two very good play style pluses uh, and the card itself looks solid. So not a whole lot to talk about there in objectives besides those things. Now, let's talk about the promo team, guys, and these TOTS live players that everybody right now is chasing in packs. And EA, I think, got a lot of people to open their packs yesterday based off of the prices on the market and how much the market's going up, guys. How much the market's going up is the key to this because people open a lot of packs yesterday. Prices are booming these cards started very low when they first came out into packs because the pack weight honestly is pretty decent like when i'm talking about low i'm talking like um let's see here who's a good example bisek was 170,000 coins in the first 20 minutes of him being in packs yeah he's 400,000 coins now um let's see zaha was really really low jedi robinson was 60k you could go back and look at the stream vod from yesterday and he was 60,000 coins on the market in the first 10 minutes um uh, alan st maximin i bought for 800k he uh went all the way up to 1.1 kuti romero it was 500 below six uh, below 600k 580 he's now up most of these cards have gone up a ton in value because of all the packs that were open and the buyback that has happened on the market but some of the reasons why they dropped so much in the first place in that first hour is because so many people were opening packs and the pack weight's pretty good now they are dropping a lot of these like global limit lightning round packs a lot of them are about to expire right here so we're going to get even more but they went all out and crazy with the lightning rounds yesterday as you would expect this 83 times 100 um 600k pack 92 percent chance of a live team of the season player now of course you're like nate come on now that's all for the fodder cards right yeah, there's a very high chance that you're packing the fodder team of the seasons. It is kind of in line with what we expected, right? The fodder toss cards are very packable. And there's like a whole, basically eight or nine of them that are close to discard or at least less than 50K. But we're chasing the other cards, right? But even then, Soba Sly is everywhere. Anthony Robinson is everywhere in packs. So 81 plus player picks, exchanges, grind those packs. Even if you're still saving some of your big packs like I am, right? I opened like I was planning to do. Maybe five, more, more than five, more than like 10 to 15 packs yesterday is kind of what I opened. But I'm still saving a good number of these because I'm waiting for what is coming up next. I'm going to open this pack right here, 8310. 
it is not a team of the season. If it's not a team of the season right now, I'm kind of just skipping it. I don't know if you guys are doing that too, but it's got to be a tots for me. I do get a double walkout out of the 83 times 10. Not too bad. 83 times 10 goes away today too, and that was a SBC that we really liked. We'll see what EA replace with that. But these cards, guys, um, very interesting on their supply on the market. Some of them are really rare. Some of them are really supplied, but it's the three play style pluses that make these cards really desirable and really, really hype. And of course, these cards are live. If you did not know, these cards can be tracked on Footbin with games continuing even today, right? On Sunday, we've got the big matchup, El Clasico, Real Madrid, FC Barcelona. So you've got Modric looking for the first upgrade there. This is on the players tab on Footbin down to trackers over to tots live if you want to track these live cards and their games and uh since they're live their prices are going to move a little bit different as well i'll talk about that here in just a second now moving on let's talk about the servers real quick because the servers seem to be kind of better now as i'm making this video but holy yesterday they were absolutely atrocious and i tweeted this out kind of just funnily yesterday it just felt like yesterday I had this notification all the time on the game. It was terrible. There's a problem connecting the servers. It was horrific. Hopefully it gets fixed, and uh, especially for gameplay purposes, right? Now, I mentioned uh, the schedule of Team of the Season, guys. EA confirmed the schedule of Team of the Season yesterday on the website, and also they confirmed that the women's leagues are going to be dropped at the same time for Team of the Season. So this week we have live tots. They are in the rewards this week. This is a champs rewards graph. Next week, we will have Prem Tots and the Barclays Women's Super League in packs at the same time. It sounds like it's going to be two separate teams, the men's league team, the women's league team. And that may, might make you wonder, what about the minor leagues like Air Divisie, MLS, Saudi League? We have news about that too. So it's going Premier League, Bundesliga, La Liga, League One, Serie A, and Ultimate Tots. So that is the order of Team of the Season, which is basically the same order that we always get, except we didn't know what was going to happen with that Bundesliga vote. Well, there's no vote for Premier League Team of the Season. And some people were saying that the Bundesliga vote might be the only vote that we get during Tots. Rivals rewards are going to include Tots red cards, Division 3 and above. I'm actually really excited about that, being in Division 2. I'm definitely going to have to stay in that Division 3-2 area. If I would want to get a player pick, I would love to do that. So that's coming with the rewards that will come out next week for Rivals. And uh, Tots Live cards, we talked about those. We did finally learn about Team of the Season Plus. Some of you guys may have guessed this. It has to do with chemistry, guys. And the Tots Plus chemistry cards are going to give one extra club link, five league links, and one extra nation link as well. So huge boost to the league links. And they said that these TOTS Plus cards will exist across the women's leagues and the mixed league TOTS items throughout the campaign, which will make squad building with those off leagues, if you will, non-top five leagues a whole lot easier. Now you're like, Nate, what are the TOTS mixed leagues? They're right here, right? Air Divisie, Super League, League of Portugal, MLS, the Saudi League, um, all of the other leagues that we normally see separate team of the season squads for like we see prem and we see air divisi and we see la liga and we see efl or whatever it is right this year what they're doing is certain league tots items will be paired together each week in a mixed squad release in packs alongside the men and the women top flight team of the season items so it's kind of like they're putting all of these leagues in a bag and they're going to shake it up each week pull out some players and there's going to be a squad called mixed leagues release for that week. And there's going to be a different set of players every single week with the week of tots that comes out. So with prem tots, we'll have these cards released next Friday. I believe they say it's going to be on the Friday, uh, the same date. It's not like a Friday, Sunday type thing. Maybe that's wrong. We'll see when they actually get released, but it's not a full league of air divisi cards being released at one time it's maybe going to be air divisi cards released one week and then the next like one or two at a time just kind of all mixed up type of situation so at least we're getting some team of the season players from these leagues because there are some stars that deserve cards and some squads that we would love to build with those types of players in them it's just going to look a little bit different this year so i think that's all the news there the chemistry uh, with full releases for the minor leagues is not happening. I think we covered it all there on the website. There's so much to go over, guys. It's going to be a long video today. Now, let's talk about the market because crazy amounts of coins were made yesterday because as expected, the market exploded in price. Like prices went 
crazy guys like we got some really incredible prices we made some really incredible flips i, did, I bought both of these gabriel jesus for one under 500k one for right around 500,000 coins i bought this griezmann for 815k i bought this saint max for 800 and what did i get him for 800k flat it's only at 970 crazy fluctuations man tevez for just under a mil um this coutier merrill might have been one of my better snipes of the year i bought him for 331,000 coins like 10 minutes after he was in packs, sold him at 790, took the cash. Uh, glad I did. Like the market yesterday, without even that crazy snipe, is going crazy. Remember in yesterday's video, we talked about Drogba? Bro is 600. Look at the market. Look at the state of this, bro. Today, right? Y yesterday, really. Drogba goes from 450K, 460. Boom. This exact crazy thing is happening on the market that we expected it was going to do. The market exploded, man. And on players that got panic sold, like we talked about midfielders tanking in price, right? Park Ji Sung went from 400K down to 299,000 coins. Where is he now? All the way back up to 400K. Guys, people opened packs yesterday, tradable packs, and lightning rounds in the store, and the panic kind of ended as expected. The market is booming. So if you bought any cards for your team, if you bought any cards yesterday to make coins off of, G freaking Gs, because you are making coins with very high success rate. Like these cards are flying. Soul Campbell was 350, and now he's 430,000 coins. We could go down the list. And look at so many cards. Of course, the ones that were the most rare, the most popular, the most meta are doing the best. And some cards are still kind of down. But a lot of cards either were panic sold and then rebounded or they just went straight up in price. Especially some of those team of the years. That's why I wanted to point them out yesterday for sure. Teo Hernandez from 2.2 .2 to 2.5. Uh, I bought a Ruben Diaz on a snipe at 1.4. He's now 1.7. Still waiting to sell that. Um, let's see. Who else? Frimpong is up big. Messi's up. The women's team of the year cards, there were some crazy fluctuations there. Literally, the whole stream yesterday was us looking at the market, finding these cards that were down in price and, and too cheap per se, going and buying them and making profits. It was so fun. Like it's Yesterday was one of those days on the market where it's just like it's hard to lose coins unless you're selling in the panic, right? It's It was bananas. It was so awesome. Now, the next question is, for some of these cards, are they going to keep going higher? Is this a one day thing or like what's going to happen next? Uh, you know, guys, I think people don't just open packs and then they just like the coins disappear out of midair. I don't think you're going to see a huge market crash today on Saturday after the market has gone bananas. Yes, of course, we have potential content, Evos, stuff that could come out that could impact prices. But I really feel this market is kind of like we talked about yesterday. We're just kind of we ended the whole uh, team of the season panic. 520, that's pretty low. If that gets undercut, I'm going to buy it. Just sold them at 580, right? Actually, you know what? I should probably just buy that because I just sold them at 580. So that's good money even if I flip that. Um, this market should be pretty healthy for the next couple of days. I know there's a lot of SBCs out. I know people are doing Havertz. I know people are doing Real. And I know that Prem team of the season is still on the horizon. But guys, this market is so healthy now and there's so many more coins on the market. It can it's okay that these prices are going up because the market can handle it now. Nobody is scared for team of the season and panicking because the promo is now coming up. It's here, right? That's the panic was before. We are post panic. We are in the here and now where the cards have gone up and we're just ready. Is this, what's this Tevez 1.12? That's man. Like even I'm looking at cards right now and I'm like, that's up from where he was, but I'm almost tempted to buy that because I think I'll be able to flip it. There's so much demand on the market now it was a great time to buy cards yesterday on this game it is flying now let's talk about the tots cards let's go back to the tots live cards a little bit more and talk about this because um a lot of you guys maybe want to know hey when do i need to buy one of these if i want to invest this is the tricky part this is the really really tricky part guys because these cards they're live and live cards act differently from normal promo cards and the fact that people don't just sell them because they are done using them a lot of times if somebody buys one especially like on day one of a promo especially a day like yesterday they're going to buy the card and then they're probably going to hold on to it for a bit because they know that card can potentially get upgrades and they're playing in the next couple of days most of these guys are to get upgrades so like the fact that anthony robinson was 50k and now he's a hundred thousand coins does that worry me a little bit yeah i know he's going to get packed a lot i know that he's going to be a very popular card to pack but the fact that he also gets upgrades means there's hype and people don't necessarily just want to sell the card uh, right away. 
and they want to hold on to it. So these cards are the perfect mixture of gamble, but also like, I don't know, usability at the same time because they're live. It's kind of like the Fantasy FC promo where if you're going to buy the card, you're going to buy at a little bit of an inflated price because all of these cards right now, there's that hype that, oh, they could get upgraded. There's been no games played yet. There's been no disappointment, no panic selling, stuff like that. And we only have one day of supply. So the card prices right now are inflated and they are a bit high for sure, especially for you guys that have been watching the market closely, like watching Doku, we almost bought Doku on stream for 2.8, 2.9. Really wish I would have. He's a 3.6, right? Or maybe you wish you would have bought Rafinha when he was 900K or uh, Romero when he was under 600 or maybe Bissek when he was 200K, right? I do believe that some of the card prices will come down today, tomorrow, in the weekend, especially after a game that is played. If somebody plays a game, like let's say for El Clasico, right? It's Modric versus Rafinha. Let's say, let's say Barca win, just to throw it out there. Rafinha might go up a little bit. Modric, on the other hand, might fall off a little bit, right? So you can maybe look for a game this weekend to impact a card's price more than maybe some of the store packs if it's a top tier card. But the store packs are going to 100%. Um, make the card prices fluctuate, guys. And they're going to keep releasing store packs. They're going to keep releasing crazy lightning rounds. Um, I do think that some of the TOTS cards could rise up today into Saturday. But with that being said, as I'm making this video, not a ton of them are dropping to make me feel comfortable enough that, hey, I want to go buy one of these to then think it's going to go up a bunch today on Saturday. So I'm going to be very, very careful with buying these cards. And I might stick to the out of packs areas of the market. These cards are live. They're lucrative as investments as well, but they're also risky at the same time. If you get it right, you get it right and you hit big. If you get it wrong, you get it wrong and you lose big. That's how live cards work. And that's how these cards are going to work as well. It's going to be a really interesting scenario once we get towards the end of this next week live tots cards but prem team of the season is going to be coming out so that's going to be a whole nother situation we're going to have to tackle and kind of eye with these cards but i do think that some of their prices will maybe rise up a bit today and then fall down a little bit today on saturday but normally the promo drop-offs on saturdays are massive i don't think it's going to be that massive today it'll just be a little bit more subdued but there still could be some drop-offs now let's talk about fodder real quick we talked about the meta cards enough fodder <laughs> fodder is the opposite story man <laughs> nothing's going up for fodder except two things but most of the fodder market like are you joking me 85s were selling for 4k last week on tuesday 86s are now 4,000 coins 87s are 6k 88s are less than 10,000 coins what am i seeing that is insane that's the state of fodder on this game but hold on a minute just like we mentioned in yesterday's video, if there was a chance of fodder going up, it was the 91s, and 91s are up seven to 8,000 coins a card. KDB was 30K yesterday, and then shout out to the Havertz and the um, Rio SBCs. This KDB went from 30K to 37, 38,000 coins where he is right now. Even with all the supply, 91s are rare. They are going up, and team of the week cards Holy, there are a lot of team of the week requirements. And of course, with everybody opening their packs, they got to get team of the weeks for those SBCs that require them, right? Team of the weeks are insta selling 27,000 coins. But guys, there's like no supply for team of the weeks. Yeah, we just had best of team of the week and we have a tradable pack that is an SBC, but it's only out once every week for the 81 plus tradable team of the week. I know the 83 plus team of the week player pick is there. It's out for 48 days now. So you should never have to buy a team of the week off of the market because this is always cheaper to do instead of buying them off the market. Once again, this SBC is coming in at a whopping 15K when we just looked the cheapest team of the week was 27. But people are lazy, right? People just want to go buy the card and get the SBC done. Do the, buy the cards for the 83 plus team of the player pick whenever you need a team of the week and you don't have one or craft this as many times as you can with your duplicate 82s, 83s. Like I have two duplicate 83s right now. I will be crafting this. But informs, guys, if I had them, if, if I was invested, I would keep holding because I think they could go up unless EA find a way to supply them. What's going to make them drop? EA not requiring them? There's still plenty of SBCs that are dropping and it have been dropped already that are still active that require team of the week. So, I mean, also you see fodder at this low price. You're like, Nate, do I need to invest and do I need to buy? I don't think so. Like, okay, sure. Maybe if you time the low point, you know, I think 86s uh, during lightning rounds are like 3.7K on bid. Sure. Those go up to like 4.7K and you make some good coins if you time it right and you hit the low point. But 
it is tough to time the low point with fodder and with how much supply there still is with store packs and stuff like that. It's tough to really look at these and say, man, these really would be a great investment. But this team of the season, and there's a lot of great SBCs that are coming out. Once again, kind of like last week during Tots warm up, if there's going to be league specific packs like Prem packs that get added to the game that people want to stack for Prem team of the season, which is coming next, then, you know, whatever is required for that will go up. It seems smart if you want to do a club stock on fodder. If you have some coins, you could do a bit of a club stock. I'm just not saying I expect fodder to rise like crazy. Fodder just seems to be mudded in itself this year, which is it's just wild. So to end this video off, guys, let's talk about Saturday content because there's more coming to this game today that is going to move things. And let's go to the Evos first and talk about Evos. We have... A Evo coming today called the Nuclear Defender Evolution, right? Both of the midfielder Evos came yesterday. Today, we're getting a Nuclear Defender. What a name for an Evo. But here's my thinking. Is this going to hurt defender prices today? If it's an Evo that is anywhere near as good as yesterday's attacking and defending mid connections, then yes, defenders could be hurt in price. Be careful with center backs once again. I know I was trading with center backs and strikers yesterday because midfielders were in the mud and I wasn't buying too many midfielders. Flip the script basically for today. Be careful with those defenders. Attackers still should be safe-ish to play with and to trade with but be careful with those defenders like am i really scared about a ruben diaz team of the year who i was able to snipe at 1.4 and you know now he's 1.7 million coins i'm not that scared about him but i will probably try to sell this card before tomorrow and before uh that comes out just because i quite frankly don't want to risk it you know what i'm saying so that's currently what i'm doing the couple of informs that i have left i'm lazy listing for ten thousand coins over their cheapest price just to see if they go up i will keep that as a little bit of an investment on my transfer list but that is an evo that is coming out um i guess you could maybe check on the market as well and see if there's defenders that are absolutely flying in price might give you a hint of who is coming in that evo tomorrow just something to keep an eye on in your club and on flipping as well now also cards that weren't released yesterday there was a couple like myra ramirez and lucas vasquez are we getting a mini release today there's potential for that it also could be tomorrow on sunday but there was a couple of leaked players from that big name of players that we looked at in the past couple of days that were not released especially lucas vasquez maybe he's released uh today maybe he's not that card looks pretty cheap as well those are official stats only two play style pluses Kind of looks like an average card. So that could also potentially be an SBC as well. I do think we get a player SBC today. That's normally how it goes on the weekends. Player SBCs happen on a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we'll see what goes on with that one today. And of course, a lot of you guys might even be playing this game mode right now while listening to this video on a Saturday. Today's a huge day for foot champs i know you're starting to see the rewards being open that's what everybody is chasing right now in this game it's all about getting the rewards good luck if you are crafting and going for champs today i heard a rumor that um ranks three and a, three two and one the toss packs that are supposed to be tradable are actually showing when you open them as untradable don't know if that's true or not i've had a couple of people tweet about that so rank three two and one they're supposed to be tradable so maybe if you get a rank three two or one before ea fix that there's compensation. Maybe we'll see. Wait for an EA tweet. But that's the big thing about today is getting those champs games in if you're playing. And uh, keep grinding the packs. There's such a great pack grind. You know, put in that work. Do the daily gold. Hit the 81 plus player picks. I haven't seen a bunch of people packing um, team of the season cards from 81 plus player picks. But the fact that the low tier is out there is meaning that these cards are technically packable from this. Um, that is not what I wanted at all. I don't really want to do a player pick with the bronzes. But let's do one player pick. This video is long enough already. But let's do one player pick to end off the video today. Since the 81 pluses are nice. And we hope to pack ourselves a team of the season. Hope to get this TOTS counter up to the double digits here very soon. I think it's going to be possible. And I'm really excited now with this team of the season beginning. I'm really excited for what is to come with the main leagues of team of the season next week on Friday. So I'm going to be grinding exchanges. I'm going to be grinding the 81 plus player picks and hoping for blues. No blue there. Uh, also today, last uh, opportunity for EA to re-release the 83 times 10. Last opportunity. They could do it again. Watch out for other upgrade packs coming today, guys, because I think the e-fix pack either goes away or does it refresh? 
What is that one again? The efix pack goes away. So does the 83 times 10. So watch out for either of these two coming back or a new one coming back. There will probably be some other sort of upgrade today on this game. That's the video. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been the last video in this setup as we talked about on the stream. I am moving house. So the guitars will stay at some point, but the setup is going to be changing as we move. So there's no stream today as we'll be moving and doing a whole bunch of stuff, but I will be on the video tomorrow per normal to see what happens today on Saturday. We'll get it going as usual. Again, guys, thanks for all the support. Thanks for all the love. See you guys in the video tomorrow. Peace.